Welcome back. Artificial intelligence getting easier to complete those New Year's resolutions. Shapa, a Silicon Valley startup, is revolutionizing the way you look at a scale. Take a look at these scales. Instead of numbers, it gives you colors to track your weight progress. Joining us right now is the co-founder of Shapa, Dan Ariely. Uh, Dan, good to see you. Thanks so much for joining us. My pleasure. Nice so, to be here. So based on your research, you've created a new type of scale. It removes the display, uh, so it doesn't show you how much you weigh, right? What exactly does it tell us? Yeah. Yes. So this is uh, how the scale uh, looks like. And as you can see, there's no, there's no display. And here are three things we know about this scale. We know it's a good thing to stand on the scale every day. It's good to stand on the scale in the morning, not so much in the evening. And it's good to stand on the scale not just because we get feedback, but it's a little ritual that reminds us that we want to be healthy. You stand on the scale in the morning, you eat a little bit less for breakfast. You stand on it at night, you just go to sleep, you forget about the whole thing. The other two things that happen is that weight fluctuates a lot. And it creates two things. One is what we call gain aversion. Days when your weight goes up for no reason, maybe you had a bit too much salt or something like that, you feel terrible about yourself, days your weight goes down, you feel a little bit happy, but it doesn't make it up. So people are afraid of this scale. And the third thing that happens is that people anticipate that their body would react very quickly. So people think, if I've been on a diet for a whole day, or maybe two days, my weight should certainly go down. That's not how the body works. The body can react 10 days later. So what happens is the feedback we get from the digital scale is confusing and demotivating. So we said, let's separate the act of stepping on the scale from the act of getting feedback. And let's get the feedback in a way that is compatible with human behavior. And then on top of that, let's take everything we know about how to help people lose their weight, and let's create an AI system that basically figures out what recommendations are best for each person. D Dan, Dan. Would you be better off with a drink of water? before uh, lunch or would you be better off with reorganizing your refrigerator so the things at eye level are not the fatty things but the healthier things D would Dan, you be better off walking a little bit more right. or would Dan, you be get, better off Dan, it's, um, Dan, yeah, it's, it's all spending good a bit more time in the garden yeah, yeah Dan it's, it's Kevin Kelly and consumers are, are have an abundant amount of choices there's Amazon I could buy scales I'm looking at your scale it's nicely designed but can you talk to me about the pricing and how that works and you've got this AI and you've got the phone it seems very complicated and convoluted but what is going to make me the consumer buy your product and what's the pricing at yeah so so first of all uh, unlike regular scales uh, we have lots of data to show that we are, are working we we did a, a long I'm a university professor uh, we did a long-term study for five months in a call center with people who are relatively low income, relatively obese. And we found that with the regular scale, people gained a little bit of weight every month for five months. And with our scale, people lost about 0.7% of their body weight every month for five months. So the first thing that we have is we have evidence that this scale is not just a scale. It's actually a tool that gets people to step on the scale, appreciate and lose, and lose weight. In terms of the pricing, the scale is a little bit less than $100, $100. And then the app that basically learns about your environment, the app learns about what kind of a person are you? Are you a kind of person that has kids, don't have kids? Can you exercise in the morning? Can you take a bus to work? Can you walk? Uh, who does the shopping? We do a lot of uh, environmental analysis of what you are, and then we kind of figure out which um, pieces of recommendations would be uh, better for you. And there's a hmm. yearly uh, subscription uh, for that and the thing about it is it keeps on learning all the time right so when you get the scale and you and you step up on it you know you learn something over time but as you use it longer and longer it understands you better there's a feedback loop between what you do and what your weight is and the system basically learns all the time about what are the best recommendations to give you right to get wow. you yeah, to achieve it, what you're trying to it's achieve it's more than just the number I, I guess that's the bottom line Dan good to see you sir thanks so much Dan Ariely there Same. from Shapa.